honor and a privilege to have every decision maker under one roof about to take on the most important journey a journey that is above everyone a skills training center where we involve all the contractors from Mossel Bay involve the businesses they come and train these people building welding whatever it is electrician and most of them will be absorbed by those companies training them because we can do it together as this event is unfolding it is not dark in your corner just light your light and let it shine to those that have lo lost their lives in the line of duty from correctional services SAPS maybe you had colleagues who were part of Meals on Wheels who are no longer here but they started to light the light and today we are remembering those who could not let us share the light so that it will keep on shining now have entrepreneurs i do not know who ox offenders are because what we are going to be showcasing they are not with us on the floor because they are busy wanting to showcase what they've learned throughout the week they are busy making pizza right now they have done the cakes you will see them they did them and we'll show you the proof that we didn't do it on their behalf they did them themselves as we celebrate world food day i want to welcome meals on wheels community services to iconic muscle bay I want to thank you for taking hands with us. We look forward to partnering with you and we want to proudly endorse the skills program for ex-offenders and the skills program for people with disabilities, both of which align with our five-point growth strategy as a Council of Mossel Bay. Mossel Bay Municipality is working hard to ensure that our town is hunger-free and that within the, our Mossel Bay area, no one gets left behind. To accomplish this enormous fit, we definitely need all the help we can get and would love people to get involved. At that point, I would like to acknowledge uh, for this context and where we are, the, the, the Mossel Bay Municipality. I would also would like to acknowledge the, the Correctional Services Department um, here in Mossel Bay. Um, for having come on board and assisting us in, in achieving one of the activities we have or services um, that we render. Mosel Bay is a municipality that will now host a program on food security for the whole country for uh, the Department of Correctional Services. So, uh, What does it mean for us as the Department of Correctional Services? I've already mentioned one point that it means that we are now defining correctional services outside the, the let me use the old term, the prison walls. But actually for us, it means that we are now able to tap into the mind, the thinking, the soul of a person who is incarcerated. And why do we want to do that? is because our mandate is to rehabilitate. Our mandate is to make sure that when you are sentenced, you don't go back to the life of crime again. Our mandate is to ensure that the numbers that we have in correctional services, they get decreased. My wish is that we should not be having correctional services uh, facilities. And so in essence, we are 
thankful to be part of this beautiful, memorable occasion where an MOU is signed between these three partners. And some of the four key areas that we're looking at as Meals on Wheels is to ensure sustainable access to balanced meals to the poorest of the poor, to break the cycle of poverty, to strengthen communities throughout um, local action, and to foster strengthened strategic partners, and to create mutual interdependency and heightened accountability for achieving results and fundraising. And so this opportunity this morning is, is a beautiful occasion for us to share and collaborate and therefore um, it, it marks the starting point of a wonderful collaboration together. I thank you. We nurture new business collaborations with strategic partners to create access to markets for the products. And I want to emphasize this point that the entrepreneurs that we have just established, it will be evil of us just to leave them without establishing a market for them. They must be sustainable entrepreneurs that have a good profit margin. Hunger remains a direct threat to humanity and a barrier to social development. This home garden project was initiated to ensure that our beneficiaries grow their own food and we have successfully established in the Free State 118 home gardens that will be launching next week and you are encouraged about our collaboration with the Mosul Bay Municipality and the Department of uh, Correctional Service that many beneficiaries will be added to those that have started already. Hunger and poverty are linked to crime and these initiatives will contribute to effective impact in our society. And I thank the Lord for this day when Bills on Wheels have decided to collaborate and work with municipalities to say to me who has been an ex-offender that somebody is watching you and somebody's extending a hand. So my plea today to the people here and the people, the entrepreneurs that's behind me, I'm speaking on behalf of them and say, mommy, please open your door again. I've changed. I'm saying municipality, open the office doors because I've changed. I'm saying to you, everybody that's in a position to help us become better, please open your heart, open your door and open your business so that we can receive a second chance. The other important factor in terms of collaboration is also it builds our brand. I was looking at the at the at the last five year audits of the Mosul Bay municipality. They they have got clean audits. Hey, I just looked at the last five years. I'm saying this. I'm saying this because we as Muslims we also have got a low threshold for mediocrity. We do not just partner with anyone because our name will also be tarnished. So we highly regard the partnership because it's also going to increase our image. If it was stock exchange, it was going to increase the value of our shares. Those are the directors, the founders of TNT Pizza, all the way from Virginia in Free State, to share and to transfer the knowledge and the skill of how to become TNT Pizza owners. Can I get a hand? <laughs> I am the co-owner with my long, long, long friend of, uh, since high school. Tibo, can you come? <laughs> yeah, we've been friends over 15 years now, I think. Uh, the dream of starting a business has always been there since many years ago. Uh, there was a picture uh, Sisyanzo took when we were on a plane. It reminded me of has assisted us so 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 i don't have with yeah, they have done so much for us yeah so yeah uh, we met them in 20 in 2021 i think if i'm still remember well through the former mec mamiki kabat member mamiki kabati who once bought and enjoyed the tnt pizza 
so she's the one who introduced us to Mills on Wheels and since then I can say proudly that Mills on Wheels did their part they bought us we now have a a, a full working oven of two decks and a mixer which we didn't have before because we used to cook in my mom's kitchen so now we move to a not so better location but at least we can fit our equipment we now as tnt are proud owners of a formal equipment thanks to mills on wheels so guys I, my friend will finish but i would like to say that it was nice working with you just like a father it uh, i can't these are tears of joy uh, i'm a proud father of you as you did me proud uh, i smile and i can say with pride and joy these are the tnt products thank you yo i enjoyed working with these guys they're so humble they're willing to learn they they were so engaging and they are so eager to go there and make a success of their out of their lives we produce and you see it so it's what we can see it's not about me as they say the good leader always stay at the back so this is our product this is a team that we can go this is a team that we produce they produce the food under two hours so everything is fresh fresh ingredient everything we can produce i'm so proud of my team i'm so proud of everybody who, who, who are making it happen i'd like to thank Hills and mills and um for this wonderful opportunity that many want but could not get but you know we got it you know we know how to make a pizza but now i can make pizza you can call me anytime you say you want pizza i can make pizza for you i have to thank uh tt guys for helping us with uh, of how making pizza and to be patient with us and teach us step by step how to make them even though sometimes we don't do it right but they are still there and they are still patient meals and meals and wheels for this opportunity and for sustando for <laughs> learning me how to bake a cake yeah so i can bake a cake for my mother at home now uh thank you good afternoon i'm coming to you live from a wonderful coastal town of mossel bay here in the western cape and it's a beautiful month for us to remember um, international food awareness and on the 16th of october was the united nations international food day and they've got a target of in 2030 eradicating uh, the food crisis that we're finding in the world uh, totally in south africa it's scary the statistics of how many millions of people are going hungry every night where we all have a plate of food to enjoy and so the purpose of meals on wheels is to provide a plate of food to those vulnerable people, uh, the disabled, uh, the young people that uh, don't have any uh, place to go to. And so today we've got a wonderful opportunity of collaboration between the correctional services, the local municipality and Meals on Wheels. And they want to take it a step further instead of just giving food to someone uh, for them to eat for that moment in time they want to really change lives by starting community gardens where people can produce food for themselves to make a sustainable um, impact on the community that will last a lifetime and change uh, the country as a whole so today we just saw it all coming together we're very thankful for the correctional services sending the national commission of correctional services to represent uh, the organization we're also thankful that the deputy mayor of the municipality was here as well as the speaker and it was a, a blessed event we uh, we showcased the produce that was made by um, some of the um, ex-convicts who uh, were cooked uh, some meals for us today they made pizzas they made lovely cakes as well and sold it here and the the goal is for them to become entrepreneurs from a lifestyle of um, uh, living in a community and being in, surrounded by crime and those type of things coming out and being integrated once again um, fulfilling the purpose that they were meant to do so this opportunity gives them a chance to um, give back and reintegrate with society and we're just thankful that we could be could have been part of this uh, and thank you so much